There have been calls to help more than 100 staff who have lost their jobs following the closure of JMC Mechanical and Construction. The announcement was made last night. The County Down Company provided maintenance services to the housing executive and other social housing providers. There is an onus, I believe, on the company and indeed on the Department of Finance and the Economy, first off, to make sure that there are safety nets involved uh, for uh, those people who find themselves having to go on to welfare and maybe never have navigated uh, the welfare uh, systems before. And obviously, uh, the Department of Communities has a role in, in assisting them there. But also, uh, I mean, most of the, the work is there. Um, and I know that some of the people have already been offered other jobs because we already know there's a, quite a big shortage in the construction industry. Police believe that they have saved lives after seizing over £1.3 million worth of illegal drugs in just over two weeks. The crackdown is part of Operation Dealbreaker, targeting the drug trade across Northern Ireland. In a period of just over two weeks, we have removed £1.34 million worth of suspected drugs from streets and communities right across Northern Ireland. In this time, we have conducted 94 searches seized 317 drugs exhibits, made 129 arrests and charged 55 people for drug-related offences. We have also worked alongside our Border Force colleagues in the interception of packages containing suspected drugs sent through the postal system. Sport now and Northern Ireland is in World Cup qualifying action tonight against Bulgaria following its loss to Switzerland on Saturday. It leaves Ian Barraclough's side with a very slim chance of qualifying for the World Cup next winter. In the summer and last month we, we shown that we have got that, those players who can be clinical and um, you know we, we'll create plenty of chances I hope uh, and when those chances come around they, they, you know, we, we make sure we, we test the goalkeeper. It'll be a Bulgarian team that will be hurting from losing against Lithuania. So I expect some sort of back, backlash from that and, and a, a team that's uh, that's going to come at us pretty fiercely. I think we'd probably still be a bit more confident on the ball, a bit more a bit more forward thinking. And I think as, as forward players, we need to start taking our chances when we get them and, and be a bit more ruthless in the final third. Liverpool goalkeeper Cuivin Kelleher makes his first start for the Republic of Ireland tonight. The team takes on World Cup hosts Qatar in a friendly in Dublin. Kelleher is one of three goalkeepers, all aiming to win the starting spot for Stephen Kenny's side in the future. Well, the weather forecast is next. Here's Louise Small. Now you're home. It's right as rain. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. Hello there, good evening. Most places stayed cloudy through today with just the odd isolated shower. And over the next few days, it really is a similar story. Looking at the pressure sequence, high pressure is in charge of our weather, but there is a weather front just skirting around the edges of that high pressure, bringing cloud and patchy light rain. We will have a few clear spells developing through this evening with some mist and fog patches to lower levels. It's going to stay dry overnight. Temperatures will dip under clear skies, though, dropping to lows of 7 or 8 degrees Celsius. So not quite as mild as we have had recently. Wednesday will start off fairly misty and murky as that fog lingers through into tomorrow morning. As it starts to clear, we'll have more in the way of brightness with a few sunny spells breaking through in the afternoon. Staying largely dry though through the day with highs of 15 or 16 degrees Celsius, so feeling pretty pleasant in the sunshine. Across the rest of Ireland, it's off to a cloudy start, but it will brighten further south with blue skies for much of the day and highs of 16 degrees Celsius. Looking ahead, Thursday will stay mostly dry and cloudy. Friday is going to be a fresher feeling day with sunny spells, but it's going to feel that bit cooler. As temperatures dip, we could see the return of frosty nights from Thursday. That's very latest. Have a lovely evening. Home means more sitting back, snuggling up and relax. UTV Weather, sponsored by Phoenix Natural Gas. UTV Live at six is shorter this evening because of the World Cup qualifier between England and Hungary. ITV News continues with Mary Nightingale. I'll be back with the late bulletin at half ten. For now, from Rose, from me and the rest of the team on UTV Live, good evening. We'll see you again tomorrow. Good evening.